My name is Christer Schaum. I'm a quantum physicist, and I'm trying to use light to create randomness. So what I mean by quantum is if you were to go and look at atoms or just the smallest things, quantum mechanics is the theory that describes that. How you actually study these things is it, it's a bit of a challenge. You, you need um, special tools and techniques and technologies, but one of the best tools we have is to actually use light. And so what I like to do is take light and produce the smallest kind of chunks of it, things we call single photons, or little, you, know, you almost think of them as little particles of light. Because these little tiny photons uh, have built into them quantum mechanical properties, we can then use them to try and test quantum mechanics, we can use them for various applications. They're just a really rich test bed for exploring a lot of these ideas. Quantum mechanics, what's so interesting about it is that there is randomness built in. So I could take a quantum coin now. Maybe it's an atom, and maybe I'm looking at a particular um, property of the atom where I send it to a fork in the road and it can either go this way or this way. And then it's kind of like flipping a coin. I'll call this side heads and this side over here tails. Now, what I do is I take this atom and I'm going to do my quantum coin flipping. And so I prepare an atom, and I send it through the machine exactly you know, in a particular way, and I get that it's heads. Now I might say, okay, well, I'm gonna do the identical experiment. I mean, every single thing is gonna be the same. And I can put it in this machine, I can do this experiment again, and sometimes I'm gonna get a tails. In other words, it's not predictable, it's, it's random. So even though I've done the exact same experiment, I put the same amount of force into, into this, it comes out random, and it is fundamentally random. You can use this type of randomness in quantum mechanics, you can harness it in order to generate random numbers. You might think, well, anybody can generate random numbers. It turns out humans are, are terrible at generating random numbers. You know, we think we're being random, but we're actually very repetitive. And part of this is that sometimes, you know, you might say, five, 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 that doesn't seem very random, so a human would never say that, but there is some chance of it happening. You wouldn't think that just randomness is that important. Usually we think that randomness is kind of the opposite of what we want. But for security applications, we require a high level of randomness. And a lot of these techniques that we've developed to communicate securely with one another rely on having really good random numbers at our disposal. And it turns out quantum mechanics might give us the best source of randomness.